stay for gifts. Ah, ah they'll stay for gifts and cars and plane trips and jets and money and a change of clothes. Yeah, they'll stay in the graveyard for all these things. But listen, you know what it takes to come out of your graveyard? It takes courage. Look at somebody and say, it takes courage to come out of your graveyard. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and what? Sound mind. Listen, people of God, when you are standing alive in a graveyard, you are the odd man or woman out. When you are alive in a graveyard, you're just out of order. And it aggravates people when you stay in these dead churches. It aggravates people because you're not supposed to be alive in a graveyard. Yeah. Let me tell you this. The other thing that will hold people in a graveyard is because we are, because there's just so, there's so many people. Look at all the people. This, this must be God because of all of these people. Well, you know, their church don't have nothing but five members. So, but over here they got 3,000. This must be God. But they dead in this graveyard. Okay. There's no living word. All right. yeah. And we hold on to these tradition and these churches and these places and these, these people, places, and things. We hold on to them. And we look at all that's going on and we hold on to it. They look out at the people and they break out in the dance because the, the house is old. Church was packed today. People was hanging out the balcony. It's a graveyard. Some people are afraid that if they leave a graveyard, they won't have a lot of friends. Mm. Listen, I'd rather have five living people or five living friends around me than to be surrounded by a bunch of dead folk. Mm. But clearly, it wasn't enough for these people to come to life in Matthew. What was, nece it was necessary for them to come to life and then leave the graveyard. I need you to know tonight, it's not the come up that God is concerned about. It's the come out that he's concerned about. Here they were, waiting for someone to do something. And the someone was Jesus, who had died and was resurrected from the dead. The scripture says that after the res resurrection is when they left the graveyard. And they went back home to the very people that had buried them. The very people that said you will amount to nothing. The very people that said you are not saved. You can't possibly be saved. Uh, the very people that saw you in those moments of depression. The very people that turned their backs on you. It's your responsibility to come out of your graveyard. It's your responsibility to come out of your graveyard and go back to those very people and say look at me now. Look what God has done. Come out of your graveyard of depression. Let's stand in this place on tonight. Come out of your graveyards of family and friends and traditions and fellowships. Come out of your graveyards and be alive. Be who God called you to be. On tonight, we give you praise, Father. We give you honor. We give you glory. How we bless your name, Lord. There is none like you. Lift your hands in this place. And give God praise in this place. Give Him worship. Father, we give you praise tonight that we are coming out of our graveyards.